Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Got a bit of a haul today and a bit of a test out to see if they're any good. Um, this is all uh, the Arty Crafting Alchemy's fault, Tabitha's fault. She let me know that these were at Audi. So these come out on Wednesday at Audi and this video will probably go up Saturday. So though, when you see this video, they come out I think middle of November. I think the 7th or something rings a bell. Doesn't matter. Um, but if you want them, go and grab them at Audi pretty quickly because things don't last there. Um, so I've never seen them before at Audi. They've got their paints. They've got like dollar paints they usually have. They've got the drawing books they usually have and stuff like that. But these are new to what I've seen before. So there's four products. They were two ninety nine each. Like $3. So let's do this one. This one they're calling their primer, which is basically gesso. So to give you a, con a bit of a comparison, this is 250 mils. This was from Audi and it was $2.99. This is Montmartre Gesso, which is 500 mils. And $10.95 is a good price and an old price. I've seen it up to about $15. So if it's a good product, it's a really good, um, good price. The only problem is you can't buy it again, which is the downside of it. Montmartre Gesso I can get all the time. Audi, I may go back if I like these four products and grab just another container of each. I only have this one left to gesso and it's about half full. Um, so their primer, so it basically says, can be used on canvas, cardboard, wood. Use a thin brush and apply two thin coats of primer. Um, so basically the primer is gesso. Then they had another one called modeling, model paste. So basically modeling paste. And again, price comparison, $2.99 for 250 mils. This is equivalent of, I know this says gesso, but you can get one that says modeling paste for 500 mils. And again, it's around the $15 mark. Or it might say impasto medium. It's basically the same thing. Um, so again, price-wise, it's very heavy. So it'll be interesting to see how it is. Last two little jars they had. These are 100 mil bottles. So this one's crackle acrylic paint medium. So this one sounded like fun. I do have a crackle medium, but I haven't had much success with it. I've done a bit of crackling with, PVA glue, um, but I haven't done it with this. So basically it says paint your first colour down or paint it onto whatever you want to show. So if you, um, I've just painted some when we get to testing it out on some green cardstock. So basically I just grabbed this out of my scrap pile. This is a green cardstock I painted on. It goes a bit darker and we're going to put some paint over that in a minute. So basically it says either leave your surface if it's what you want to be the cracks coming through put this on let it dry paint a thin layer over the top and it does say for thicker the thicker the top coat the less cracks appear so and price wise being 295 or 2.99 crackle medium i believe is really really expensive i bought some years and years ago and i don't know a price comparison i should have looked one up um but good price so the last thing was acrylic medium Acrylic Paint Thinner Flow Improver. Now this has several other names. Acrylic Medium, um, Airbrush Medium it can be called. I've actually bought one that's Airbrush Medium that was Big Joe Sonia's one. I think it was 500 mils, but it was nearly $25 or something. Basically, this should allow you to thin your paint down if you're doing a large wash or a large area to make it more runny. Yes, you can do it with water, but it does lose some of the properties. So it'd be interesting. It says can be mixed can be mixed can be mixed water into acrylic paint. Dries clear if used on its own. Can be mixed water into acrylic paint. What the hell does that mean? Use Barringly to avoid over thinning the acrylic paint. Maybe it means can be mixed with water. No, you just use this instead of water. So I'm going to see if this actually changes the intensity of the colour, which would be interesting. So we're going to play with some Martha Stewart green paint, which I had on my desk from another project. So let's get experimenting. So I'll grab one of these cards. Basically, this was a 12 inch bit of cardstock I cut into. Um, six pieces and we're just going to have a play that's the crackle one we'll have a play with that in a minute we'll have a play with the gesso first that's modeling paste so we'll just grab the gesso or the primer as it's called 
I thought I'd do this video nice and quick so if anyone sees it and they want to run out to their Audi, as I said, great price point. I may even run across to Audi and get some more. Because it's just drying off my brush. I'm going to take some off the lid here. Doesn't really have a smell. Now this gesso, this Mott Mark one, not that I encourage smelling things, has a bit more of a plasticky smell. And I've heard, and the problem I hate about this lid is it gets all gugged up. I have to buy some Vaseline to put on my lids, I think. Um, this gesso is a bit plasticky when you um, put it on, apparently. I don't have a problem with it. I do use it, but I've got a couple of my um, ladies on YouTube that don't actually like it. But I do. I find if you put it on too thick, it's plasticky, but usually I'll water it down anyway. So that's going on quite nice. It doesn't have... It has a bit of a smell when you stick it right up under your nose. It's, as I say, you do do two coats. Let's give, oh, give that a bit of a dry. I don't really want you to hear my heat gun because that's, or my heat tool, because that's going to be noisy. What I might do is I might coat, let's coat in the entire card, and then I'll do a second coat. I do like it how it's in a jar. I don't like a lot of these mediums when they're in squirty tubes because I tend to squirt too much out. So I haven't tried a couple of other brands because they're in tubes. But these ones, it's nice, quite wide lid. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in the water. Put this lid, this cap back on. And I'll give that a quick dry. I will just pause the video. So I've just heat dried that off. So I'll just grab my paintbrush out again. Just wanting to take most of the water out of the paintbrush. So as you can see, it's sort of covered. I deliberately got a darker piece of paper to see what the coverage was like. So yeah, it has covered fairly well. Let's put a second coat on half of it. The one thing I do like is actually the smaller jar, because I find these big jars, when you get down to about a quarter full, they tend to dry out, especially with the gesso and the, because you've got more air in the jar. So maybe this will be um, better in that sense. Let's put a second coat on this side. I like experimenting with things. I didn't really need to buy the gesso or the texture paste, but I thought, well, if I'm going to buy two, I might as well buy four. And they were so cheap, so if I like it, I might even go back and grab some more because once the jars are sealed, they should last a little while. And I do go through the gesso. So you can see, let's just dry that off. I do go through a fair bit of gesso between the Lexuses and my crafting. Let's go dry that off. Back in a minute. Okay, so that is dry. So you can see the difference with the second coat. So definitely if you're going to cover up, you do need two coats. It's nice and got a nice texture to it. Um, obviously a bit smoother on the second coat. Let's just take pencil. So the pencils go on it. This is just a watercolour pencil. So we'll just see how that goes. As I said, sometimes a Montmark does one have a bit of, is a bit sort of plasticky, but I don't find that because I don't put on quite thick. Okay, that's working quite well. Mm, so I like that gesso. That's really nice. So I'll just put that one off to the side. What we'll do is we'll play with... Let's put the lid back on that one. I will play with the modeling paste. And I've got a business card here. Or an old credit card. And we will try the modeling paste. Must have got lost in translation. It's actually got model paste. Add texture and 3D effects. What's it say? Model paste is used for sh shaping ability, for its shaping ability. Increases opacity, bold, and structure, and is ideal for carving, sanding, and building texture. Carving what? Dries to a matte finish. Okay, so it's not glossy. Depth of texture can be built up. Duh, 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 duh. Small also objects may be embedded for another 3D effect. Apply with palette knife. Close up with water. Do not dilute with water. And that's just the normal Audi branding. So this would be interesting. 
so again it doesn't really have a smell which is ideal I do like the wide jar because I can get my um credit card in and I just want to pick up a bit and So you can turn it upside down, it's not moving. It looks really creamy. So we're just gonna... Oh, it goes on very nice. It's like icing a cake. Be interesting how that dries. So we might pop that aside and let it dry. So you can make all sorts of waves in it. wipe it off my credit card um you've just got to watch when you're using a palette knife or a credit card or a stencil you've got to um wipe it off pretty well once you've done it because it will dry like cement so that's oh that bit's almost dry around the edge anyway where it wasn't much on so i do like that it's nice and smooth i don't know what else i can say about texture paste and it doesn't really, like it has a little bit of a smell, but doesn't really have much of a smell. Now, what I'm more interested in is playing with these two things. Let's do the crackle paste. So what I've done, we'll put that one aside, put that one over here. What I've done with this crackle paste is basically just applied a thin coat to the paper before we started. So now it says after I've done that is to go and put some paint on. So I'm going to use some white paint. Okay, I had it just sitting on my desk here, some white paint. Just going to put some in this little tray. So this is just an acrylic paint. It's a bit thick. Just got to load for me. I'm a grub when I do things. Lemon grub. Okay. I've got stuff. If you see outside my camera range, I've got stuff everywhere. So just cleaning off my paintbrush. Excuse the state of my paintbrush. It is my favourite paintbrush for collaging, and I will use it for this as well. Um, and it's just it's a water barrel brush and just the water barrel has got disgustingly dirty i'm just looking for the paper to, i've got glue all up there it's one of my best collaging brushes i just like the tip of it and you know how you get a nice brush and you just want to use it till it's ended okay so now i reckon just to put a layer on here don't know how thick they mean how thick and it doesn't say like how thick to apply the crackle medium it does say it doesn't do it till it dries I've heard you're supposed to only do the painting in one direction um, not off this jar but I've heard that on the grapevine I'll put a little wrong paint out so this is just normal acrylic paints perfect pigment pure liquid acrylic I don't even know where I got this one from it's a USA product titanium white so I thought that would go good over the um, it's nearly finished actually um, would go good over this darker piece of paper so this will be interesting to see if I can make it crackle as I said I do have one crackle I've got a de um, I don't know what it is what brand it is I've got to say deco art but I don't think it is um, brown crackle paste and I tried it one day and I may have been doing it wrong and it just didn't work I don't know if that's too thick. I don't know what they mean by too thick. But and I don't know whether I'll heat dry it or I'll just leave it dry. I think we might just leave it dry while we play with the flow medium. And I'll heat dry it if I have to. Don't want to make this movie too long. Can't see how many minutes I've been going for. Bear with me a minute. Oh, okay. I've been going for about 13 minutes. Haven't been gas bagging that much. Okay. Can't really see any... Wah! That's not what we want to do. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's put that up there. Okay. Let's play with some of this flow medium. Now, it doesn't, the only thing about this is it doesn't give a ratio or a measurement. It just says don't thin down to enough. Like, don't thin it down too much. Okay. I've just got white paint there. I just want to, yeah, whatever, wipe it on my hands. God, I'm a messy person. Okay. So I want to put a little bit of green paint down. Any chosen? I want to see if this changes the green paint. So changes the colour. Like the intensity of it. So let's just put a big stripe of it down this side. 
I'll use these swatches for something. I have fun playing with new products. It's so much fun. Seeing what they'll do and experiment with them. Did you see that? I just flicked green paint everywhere. So just giving that a good old coat. So that's our original colour. Now these have got childproof locks on them. Childproof caps, which I always have trouble with. Again, it doesn't really have an odour, so I suppose I'll just tip a little bit. In. So it's probably about a third to the paint. A th like a one to three ratio. I don't know if that's enough or not. I haven't used a lot of flower medium. I do have a Joe jo Sonia's airbrush medium because I do did buy some more of these containers as she left it on my desk or as Alexis ran off with it no here it is I got this uh, quite a few years ago in a um, class kit and it's a fine line it has the tip on it with the needle in it um, and you can put like paint in it and thin it down with these flow mediums and then use this to write or draw and you've seen me use this many times in my journaling and then to stop it from clogging up this needle goes oh, I have trouble getting it back in needle goes that's in the cap goes down there and stops it from clogging up so I've got a bunch more of these bottles so I want to make up this is black it's the only color we've got Alexis loves them so I want to make up a white maybe a silver and a gold and I also want to put um, a glue in one of those as well it's a story for another day okay so let's go and so it certainly is going on a lot thinner, so it has thinned it down. It's brushing on a lot better. But I don't think it's actually changed the colour. I'll have to wait for them to dry, but it doesn't, it hasn't changed the colour. Oh, that's the crackle one. I was going to get the gessoed one. Let's just paint some of this over the gesso. And the idea of this is, actually we'll do this experiment, is you can make it thinner, your paint thinner, and then you can drip it. Is it going to drip? Sorry for the tapping. Oh, that looks really cool. So that's one of the uses for it which is really cool, is to water down the paint and by using, yes you can use water with it, but the, I'll put the lid on before I accidentally go and spill a damn thing, <laughs> I dropped one of them coming home, I'm glad they're not glass bottles coming home from the supermarket, I was trying to juggle three of them, a handbag and a mother bag or something, um, so I really like it for that effect, that looks really cool. What a shame Halloween's over. It looks so much so good in blood. Hmm. It does have little bubbles in it, so it'll be interesting how it dries. Okay. Now that's still wet. Okay. Let me go and dry a couple of things. And then I'll be back with a wrap up. So let me know if you go out and buy some of these Audi um, mediums, especially these two, and let me know what you do with them. Um, obviously the crackle medium, your crackle stuff. be interesting to put over paper and paint and things. An acrylic medium, what else would you use it for? Or have you used a different brand acrylic medium to do stuff with, apart from drippy drippies and like washing it, washing it out. But it doesn't look like it has affected the colour, which is really cool. I got one, I think the Joe Sonny one actually really washes out the colour of it. But this one must be more of a clear base. So I will go dry some things and I'll be back. Okay, so I've dried everything off. And it looks really cool. So I'm happy with the gesso. And this dribble is, it, it's got a shine to it because the actual paint is got a satin finish. So it's not the acrylic medium that's making that shine. But that is really cool. It's quite raised, which is really cool. So you can feel quite a bit of texture with the dribbles, which is really cool. I love playing with that. It'd be cool for Halloween. Maybe I'll start working on Halloween for next year. So this is again was the acrylic 
medium. Excuse my phone in the background. I should have marked which one was which. Urgh. I can't tell now. I think this was the original one and that was the flow medium. So it doesn't affect the colour, which is really cool. Yeah, because this one's got a bump on the side. So that's full paint and that's flow medium. Okay, so the texture paste. It's pretty cool. Dried pretty quickly. I finished drying it off with a heat tool. So it does, you can put on quite thick and carve into it, which is <coughs> really, really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's really cool too. So I'm happy with the gesso, the flow medium, and the modeling paste. Crackle paste. I'm eh about the crackle paste. I'm going to see if I can get it closer. Oh, I don't know whether I can. Hang on, I've just got to change the viewfinder. I don't know whether you can see. Let me see if I can point them out. There's like a little bit of crackle action here. Oh, I don't know whether you're going to see that. I'll put a still photo at the end. There's a little bit of crackle action. But not much. So then I thought maybe the paint is too thick. So I did a second one off camera. Again, painted the crackle medium just on the top of the cardstock. And put the leftover flow medium paint. The leftover paint with this um, acrylic medium in it. And it had a lot of bubbles in it when it dried the crackle medium. But again, nah, there was a little area of crackle I noticed before. But not so good with the crackle medium. Now, it could be something I'm doing. I don't know. Let me know if you've played with crackle medium. It doesn't have to be this particular brand before. How do you get it to crackle? Did I put the paint on too thick? Should I put paint on the bottom as well? What I've done with PVA glue or um, school glue is you put a layer of paint excuse me, layer of paint, you put a layer of the school glue, you wait until it's tacky, like almost dry, and then you put your paint over the top. Now it does say on here to let it dry, thoroughly allowed to dry, which I did, because I was blasted with heat tool. Paint crackle medium. Crackle cracks begin to peer. I don't know, am I expecting too big a cracks? Like we've got a few here, and a few down here, but... On my fingerprint over here because I picked it up when it was wet. But there doesn't seem to be much. Maybe I'll put it on a bit down here. Maybe I'll put the paint on too thick. I don't know. So let me know. That was a bit of a fail. But I am happy with three out of four products. I'll persist with the Crackle Medium. I'll keep playing because I love to play. But I do love that drippiness. That is really, really cool. It drips different than it does with when it's watered down. Um, this seems to be a bit more... has a different... Vicosity, um, like texture almost. Um, so that's really cool. Let me know if you go out and buy some of the Audi mediums. See how you like them. As I said, I'm happy with three out of four. The crackle paste I'm yeah, on the fence about, but maybe it's my technique. Don't let that hold you against you. And for three bucks, you can try it anyway. Um, as I said, crackle medium is rather expensive. <sighs> So I'm really happy with this one, so maybe I'll go grab some more of that one. Um, maybe these ones. The only downside is it sales once a year or it may never come back. You never know. Hoping next year when they bring the paints back, they bring these back as well. Um, and maybe they'll have match your medium. That would be awesome if we get this stuff. This is Liquitex. This is like 22 bucks a bar, jar and it's about... Well, this is 235 mils and that's 250. So... If that could be $3, I'd buy the whole blooming store out. Um, so, Audi, I don't know whether you're going to listen to my videos. Hi, anyone from Audi. Please make matte gel medium more affordable. That would be awesome. And we'd love you. Everyone in the crafting community would love you forever. Thank you for watching my play and my haul from Audi. I'll get this video up as soon as possible. So, if you want to, you get a chance to run out and buy them. Bye for now.